Hi everybody, it's Joan Endicott, author and founder of I Get To and Giant Slayer Coaching. Hey, first of all, thanks for joining me today. Uh, it's especially reflective for me today because it was 13 years ago, as of right now, that my friend Lori was in a tragic accident just after leaving my home. She was a 32-year-old, energetic, adorable mommy of four little ones, and she was leaving and I said, I love you. She said, I love you back, and she took off. 20 minutes later, I heard the loud, constant whir of a helicopter, so going out on my deck, I looked and they were just shutting the doors on a life flight helicopter. Heading down there, I saw all the rescue vehicles and saw her van that was empty, and the officer indicated she was in a life flight. It was weeks later that when I went into the hospital room and the doctor gave us the news, he said, I'm sorry, this is as good as Lori will ever get. <laughs> I thought, no, nothing good about this. She's so brain damaged, she can do nothing. She can't communicate. She doesn't know her own children. The next morning I was lying in bed when I woke up, just exhausted. You know how that feels when you've had just a shock that something is permanent and you can't understand it and you can't um, make any sense of it. And it was like that, I felt like, why, how is this the final say in her life? And so as I lie there, I was thinking about all the things I had to do. Well, I have to get up, I have to get my kids up, I have to get them dressed, I have to get their breakfast, I have to make their lunches, then I have to drive them to school, and then I have this whole list of things to start for business. And I didn't want to do any of it. I just wanted the world to go into a holding pattern. And then something simple but life-changing happened for me. I simply pictured Lori lying up in her hospital bed, unable to do one thing for herself. And I realized I didn't have to do any of that. I get to do all of it. Because if she could jump out of her own bed, run down the hall, scoop up her babies, just to hug them one more time, just to let them know how much she loved them once more. She would have done it with sheer gratitude. She would have taken my list and your list and every list she could get her hands on and she would have been so grateful. So at that moment, I vowed actually to never say I have to do anything again because everything that we're able to do is really a get to and we should always be grateful for it, for that opportunity. So I just wanna encourage you on three things today. One is take nothing for granted that you're able to do. If you're able to see, to hear, to taste, to touch, to feel, to laugh and to love, you are so blessed. If you can even do any of those. Sometimes those are the things we take for granted though, isn't it? Which is normal, that's why we all need this reminder. I, I write about this, I do keynotes about this, I you know, coach people on this, but I still need the reminders because we're human. Every day we need those reminders of what matters in life and taking nothing for granted. So that's the first thing, is take nothing for granted. Take no one for granted. Those people that you get to love on and that you get to have in your life and the people whose lives you get to be a blessing to. Take none of that for granted because none of us know how long we're going to be here. And that's not just a cliche, that's reality. The third thing is to, if Lori was here and being able to actually verbalize something to you, I know that she would encourage you to put every distraction down when you're driving. Put your phone away, put everything that could be a distraction away and buckle up because those two things contributed to her accident. And I know she would tell you, you are irreplaceable. No one can take your place. No one can be there for the people who love you. So don't take that for granted and be there and, and really love on them and, and know that nothing is permanent. So we get to be grateful for the things we have, the people we have in our life, the abilities we have. So in honor of Lori, some of you may have my book already. I'm grateful that we've sold many copies, countless copies around the globe. But for those of you who don't, or even if you wanna share this with somebody, I wanted to offer two of the chapters, Lori's chapter and then another chapter, 
for free. You can go to igettobook.com and download those two chapters for free. You don't need to do anything, that's all. Just share that with those you love and realize that every day, everything is an I get to. Nothing is a have to. God bless you. I look forward to connecting to you soon.